We bivouacked in An Najaf, tasked to support the continuing battle around Najaf, Karbala, and Baghdad. One of our tasks was to reconnoiter a movement route just north of Gila with a mobile but mostly unarmored force. A recon mission, not looking for a pitched battle and certainly not an engagement with armor. Southeast of Eshkandaria airfield, the company stopped because Iraqi armor was detected in the trees astride the divided highway ahead. We called in a B-52 and, based on the GPS and laser rangefinder, passed the probable alignment of the Iraqis and trees on either side, worked up a center to light long position and called for munitions. It was a single pass. The aircraft was not detectable above the overcast and too high to be heard. The effect was a complete surprise. Hey, Ball 5-2, we're jammed up on Highway 8 north of Gila. Can you help? Roger, I have a loadout of SFWs and Mark 82s. Need a boxcar pattern SFW, center point lat long, azimuth 340 degrees through. 200 meters between munitions. That's the way. offloading a battalion-sized force of armored vehicles at a rail siding. They tried to establish an ambush at a choke point on the road where a concrete terrace on the east and a canal to the west limited off-road movement. The strike destroyed vehicles including tanks, BTRs, BMPs, and transport trucks. Although several SFW submunition slaves and canisters were visible, the battlefield was clean of any unexploded ordnance. Without the SFW, U.S. forces moving through the choke point would have undoubtedly incurred casualties. Instead, the surprise and immediate devastation wreaked by a single SFW pass obviated the situation. The remaining Iraqis abandoned the site. What could have been was reduced to a few minutes of high bucker factor in a couple of radio calls. <laughs> 